Hi everyone. So the second lab that you should have already completed was on the scientific method. The scientific method is actually quite simple. It's, it's a method that's used in not only what we call the hard sciences like biology and chemistry and physics, but also the social sciences, um, sociology, psychology. The scientific method it pretty much consists of about four parts. You notice something happening, so it's like an observation. So the scientific method begins with an observation. You make an educated guess about why that something is happening. And that's your hypothesis. So your hypothesis is an educated guess. Then you have to design some kind of experiment to test your hypothesis. And then you have your conclusion. Right? So you can either retest or be satisfied with those results. That's essentially the scientific method. Within science there's two types of research that the lab talks about quantitative and qualitative and quantitative means quantity so we're talking about numbers usually quantitative data gets numbers. Qualitative data examines it uh, a little more closely so they, w they would answer how types of questions. So if we were to take the example of weight gain versus weight loss, how much weight does somebody lose or gain? Well, we can look at that quantitatively. How many calories are you eating? And those are all numbers. And you can crunch those numbers with statistics and you can say with a certain confidence that so and so many calories are leading to weight gain or not eating enough calories lead to weight loss. But there's also a qualitative aspect to that. You can go to that person and and find out what exactly are they eating. Well, these aren't really numbers. These are kind of open-ended questions. What do you eat on an average day? Where do you eat that food? You know, are you hitting the vending machines? Are you going through fast food? Are you preparing those meals at home? How often are you eating? These are all things that you can't quantify necessarily. So that's qualitative data. The lab is more leaning towards quantitative data, you know, and they're talking about the cricket and how much the cricket gains when you add so much food or light. And those are those are going to be numbers, so that's that's quantitative. And then in the lab they talk about a dependent and an independent variable. And just remember, the dependent variable is the thing that depends on the other variable. So with the cricket you have two different variables. You have um, the amount of food versus cricket growth. So you ask yourself, does the cricket depend on the food or does the food depend on the cricket? Well, the cricket depends on the food, so the cricket is dependent variable. The food is independent. So well, same thing for the light. Right? The more light you have, the more the cricket could grow. So what depends on what? Well, the light doesn't depend on the cricket, the cricket depends on the light. The cricket is the dependent variable and the other thing is the independent variable. So whenever you have variables, just ask yourself that. What depends? What's depending on something and what's not depending on something? And that will give you the, the answer. Um, so, uh, so that's it. I mean, the, the, the only thing that, the, that they don't mention is that really science and the scientific method is really not about the answers. It's about the questions. So a really good scientist will be able to ask the right questions, not necessarily provide answers. These are things that people learn in the early stages. Like when you're still in school, it's all about having the answer. You know, somebody asks a question and you need the answer. But once you get past that point, it's really about, you know, what kind of questions can you ask that lead to new discoveries? I mean, all of the new types of um, innovations that we've had just in your life have been because people ask questions. Well, could we do this? Well, is this possible? Well, how would, how could this happen? It's not by people just having answers. All right, well, good luck with that lab. And um, again, it's not too difficult, but you know, just spend a little bit of time with it and you should be able to get it.